Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. Good. And come back. If you noticed, I did a turn on the haunches. I want to... What I'm doing is I'm taking him out on the trail in increments, okay? Ma developing his confidence, you know. So many times we, we get him out on the trail and they do well, then uh, we, we, we say, well, okay, let's go another 100 feet. Well, pretty soon, see right there, he's, he's not focused on me. He took the, his nose and went towards the tractor that's over there. And then what I did is doubled him. And then I'm going to bring him back. That was nice. I moved the hind quarters over, then the fore quarters stepped over to the left. That's pretty good for him because he has to be halfway relaxed <laughs> to do that. Now, he's a little antsy about coming back. All horses want to do it. In other words, they all know how to come back home. So when he gets too antsy, I'm just going to double him and then move the shoulder over and get back up on the trail again. And keep him forward, don't let him be pokey. Don't let him stop and look at something. That's the worst thing that you wanna do. It's that forward cue. Now, if they wanna rush by something, let them rush by. And if you don't feel comfortable, then turn around. All right. So he got a little out of his comfort zone, so I'm just going to double him, double him this way. Get his attention back onto me. The easiest part you can control is the hindquarters. See, he's getting a little bit upset, so I'm just going to keep changing directions here, either through the hip or shoulder control, until he softens up, okay? It finds out it's too much work. Good. Good. And then back. Good. Now, he's going to get a little rushy here, so we probably have to do the same thing here. All right? If he starts, you know, trotting, I'm going to bend him and change, and change direction. Bend him change direction. Bend him. And all the way around this time. Good. And bend him. See, this is what we call jigging home. He wants to come home too quick. And that's another reason not to get too far out because you get too far out creates a lot more anxiety. You can fix a jigging problem 100 feet from home than you can five miles from home because as soon as you turn around and I'm just looking for him to walk home just a few strides I had one horse that uh, literally took me uh, over 20 hours to teach to walk home and we're gonna finish him walking and I can do a series of half halts if that works for him, but what I don't want to do is keep hanging on the rain. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's ultimate foundation horsemanship. Remember, 
To find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.